Good morning and welcome back <clears throat> to the Dogs What's It's channel. Well, have I got some news for you? <laughs> I decided to upload the last stream while I was tinkering and I noticed that I had a comment on one of my videos from... Was it Dan Rob's Probs himself? I'm pretty sure it was... Yeah, it was either Dan... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Dan. Or it was Squidgy. One of them. <laughs> but yeah, they've commented on one of my videos with some hints and tips for us. So yeah, that was very exciting. So, um, we were having issues with I needed yet another live account. Um, I've done that and some of the tips that he gave me was to put compressed dust in here instead of normal dust and that is working better into the dripper and it's converting into clay so yeah compression is the one thing I hadn't really done much of because I was a bit scared that it might be glitched but it's not so yeah by compressing stuff it's a lot easier Uh, hang on, we've got some compressed on us. So all you do is grab your cobblestone on a crafting table, compress it, and then you can hammer the compressed versions. Nope, don't want to compress that. <laughs> So yeah, by hammering the compressed versions, it's a lot faster. I was just worried that with the hammer playing up a little bit, that maybe the compressed wouldn't work. But yeah, it still does play up, but so long as I get myself right into the centre, it works nicely. yeah the hammer is a little finickety and then you've got to compress it again so compress it back to gravel and then I can do the same thing again I can tower up and I can compress it I can hammer it in its compressed state which makes life a lot easier so, while I was off stream, we've really got to get this place tidied up. It's looking a mess. But, we know that one of our missions was to get to the nether, so I've been working on getting us some obsidian. I've been trying to get this copper cow, and it's just not doing it. I don't know if I need a witch one first, maybe that's how I did it. I'll have to rewatch my video to see how I got the copper one. Um, but breeding the lava with the water cows is just giving me more lava and water cows. I'm not getting the copper ones. It must have been a witch one that I bred with it to get the copper cow. So we haven't done that. So in order to be able to pick up this, I needed a diamond pickaxe. So I realise that there's something that we haven't done yet, which is why I brought you back. Um, because this mob pack, uh, map, this marketplace map, seems to use the stencil tables and that. And we haven't done that yet. Has that run out of water? I think it has. Now again, you've got to be careful with how you place your water or it washes it away, washes the machine away. Right, water cow, where did you go? Oh, you're floating around somewhere. I've left this one roaming free just because it comes in handy to be able to nick water off him. So we might have to create another witchy cow in order to get another copper cow 
in order to carry on with the copper tasks but we need a diamond pickaxe and we can't make one so to make one we need a wooden binding a stick and a diamond pickaxe head so we need to although the missions haven't told us to do it yet yeah, that hasn't changed yet the missions haven't told us to do it yet which is why I haven't done it because then I'll have to do it again if I get it as a mission but we need a diamond pickaxe head so I also made a heavy sieve as well for sieving um, the compressed blocks um, I'll show you that before we carry on so yeah and I've put a flint mesh in this one so yeah you can sieve compressed blocks in a heavy sieve so you sieve in nine blocks at a time doing it this way which is much faster so loot wise we got one diamond scrap out of it yeah we got a fair bit So yeah, after this stream, I'm going to work on tidying everything up, making it look pretty. But I would like to get to the nether, although I hate the nether, that's where my favourite tree is. So, we need to make, uh, let's get some more planks. Where are you? These. We need to make some of these up. A part builder, a stencil table. So we need a blank pattern. We're going to need a few of them anyway. <clears throat> right, so now that we have a blank pattern, we can now make a stencil table and a part builder. Um, and I usually do a stencil chest as well just to store it all in pattern chest um, right so we need to create a chest for that come on where are you there right so yeah I will do some work off stream and get all this tidied up and made look prettier again. So we usually have a pattern chest, stencil table and part builder and in there I can chuck the blank patterns. This is just a storage chest. Right so we're going to need some more blank patterns we need some sticks plenty of sticks in here need some of that wood as well right mm. don't know why I pressed that right so it said we needed bindings we need a pickaxe head which really we should make the forge to go along with this as well but again I'm loath to do it if I'm going to have to do it again right part but yeah see I'm going to have to make the forge aren't I? oh no it does allow for diamonds so why hasn't it got the diamond pickaxe head yeah I think we're going to have to make the forge even though it hasn't told us to do it yet because we need a diamond pick so 
so yeah we can't even create the diamond pickaxe head we've got those bits but we need that so we're going to have to build the forge let's see what we need for that and then like I say I will move things around off stream and start making the base look pretty because at the moment it's just a mess <laughs> Where's the forge? No. Right, so we need some stone bricks, a blast furnace, and some glass. Right, we have stone bricks, we have glass, we're gonna need one iron, and we've got some on us. We need a blast furnace first, don't we? So let's make an ordinary furnace first, which I think we need to. Where's the furnace? I've not got enough. I've not got enough cobble on me. I'm in the wrong chest. There. Right, so furnace, done. Right, how do we make it into a blast furnace? Right, smooth stone, that's what we're missing. Some of that going in there. Right, so we need three bits. We're just going to have to go back through again. Yeah, we'll get there. Let's work on the forge and then, like I say, I'll move things around off stream and start making it pretty today. If we can get the wood that I want. Right, so we're getting plenty of clay done doing this. Loads of the stuff. So I will also make a load of hopper pots for all the different things we need. Get rid of all this farmland because we don't need it. Keep our normal animals in there, but again, I will make them a nicer home. But yeah, we've got to figure out how to make another copper cow. So it's got to be to do with the witch cow because I've tried breeding the lava cows and the water cows and that just hasn't worked at all. Right, blast furnace. Forge. Done. Right, again, the forge is another machine that can be washed away quite easily. Um, no, we don't want it there. Yep, yeah, I'll look at the forge box in a minute. I'll move these around later. Let's clear some space. Our 
inventory is Choco Blocker. So, patterns are an essential part of forging. You can use a stencil table to create new patterns. Once you have molten ore in your forge, you can interact with any pattern to obtain that object or part. Patterns are single use and burn up once you use them. For wood and stone tools, you can use the part builder. This is also the way to craft any, sto any sword guard. For everything else, use the forge. So we're going to have to create some casts. A cast has the same function as a pattern except you can reuse a cast as many times as you like. To create a cast interact with the forge while there is some gold alloy in the tank. To do alloy you need to do gold and iron in the same tank. To make new tools you need a pattern for your tool. Use the stencil table, make a pickaxe pattern, now power your fad with lava and interact with raw iron. Ah, that's going to be a problem. We've converted our diamonds already. We need them raw. I bet you can't undo that, can you? Yeah, that's going to be an issue. Yeah, we need to get all the diamonds back again. So yeah, books it gave us was materials and you materials and you volume one, two and three. And then wasn't there another one floating around here? No. Right, okay. So what we do is to power the forge it needs a bucket of lava. And it runs on lava power. And then we can take some, for example, iron. It wants. Right, we'll try with iron scrap first because I think it's going to want raw iron. But just to test, yeah. So we need some raw iron. And then we give it four pieces. And then we pour, pour, no, you can tell me now I can't get an iron block, ah hang on, we crouch and pour, that was it. So out of four pieces of raw iron we can now get an iron block. We don't need to mine it like that. Oh, stupid me. Yep, we've lost the forge. <laughs> That's what happens with water. <laughs> so we got to do that all over again. Great! <laughs> It's not like I don't know that that's what it does, and I still did it. So yeah, we need to get a whole new forge again. Because yeah, while you get most of the machines back, a forge isn't one of them. This one, when you wash it away, you get it back. That one, when you wash it away, you get it back. But not the forge, unfortunately. So yeah, I've messed that up big style. <laughs> We killed it.
right so we need another blast furnace Right, and we're going to need more diamond dust, diamond scrap, whatever you want to call it. We need raw diamond. So we're going to have to sift a lot of gravel. Hmm. Uh, start putting some stuff away. always end up with tons of flint but you can convert the flint back into gravel um, but you need stone rocks as well do we need for a forge? We've got glass. Ah, it was the bricks, wasn't it? But we've just put away them. Right, let's try that again. <laughs> So we need another bucket of lava as well. Ah, we've got some gravel in here. Pinch that. I don't know why I put that up there. I wanted that up there. Bucket of lava. Alright, stay away from it with water. <laughs> right, so now we've got to work on getting our diamond dust. So we need to compress some more of these. Well, we have compressed them. We need to convert them into gravel. Because we're going to need to sieve a lot to get enough diamond bits. Whoops. Dead. <laughs> well, ain't this just the episode of messing up? <laughs> This is going to be fun. Can't get up there. Definitely can't get up there. Quit falling off the edge. this up haven't I
go too far. Can't place it now. Well, thank you. What a mess we've made. What an absolute disaster that was. <coughs> Compressed cut the gravel again. Sift that gravel and see if we get enough diamond bits. We probably won't. Let's change that mesh out. Alright, let's make an iron mesh. How many diamonds is it for a diamond one? Too many. Right, so we're going to go with an iron mesh this time in the hope that we get a better chance of diamonds. That's a lot faster. see this is going to be the episode of lots of deaths for me. <laughs> right, so we've got a few bits of diamond there. Did we get enough? Right, um, let's convert the coal. Chuck that in the furnace. And then convert the diamond in a raw diamond. Right. Now, if we put the raw diamond in there, why can't I put diamond in it? emptied the iron out of it, didn't I? Yep. Oh, come on. Oh, for goodness sake. What am I doing wrong now? Try the scrap, but I don't think it's the scrap, it's usually the raw version. Right, let's try a relog. When 
in doubt, do a real lab. Let's try that again. Right, raw diamond. It should take it. And it's not. So how are we supposed to create the diamond pickaxe head? Looks like we have to create the portal in a different way and not in the way that I've done. Great. supposed to be able to make a diamond pickaxe then? Let's get the bits out just in case. I'm obviously doing something wrong. So it's not through the part builder. Because there just isn't an option for the diamond pickaxe head. seeds. Ooh, elemental seeds. Ooh, <laughs> jumping ahead a bit there, but hey ho, I'm having nosy. <laughs> right, so at some point we're going to be able to grow all these things in pots. Nice. Um... Uh, what do we do? Do we rebuild the portal in the old way? Crafting each block in its place. I think we're going to have to. I didn't want the portal in here though. I wanted to put it in my. I wanted to put the portal in here. Yeah, it's not letting us craft a diamond pickaxe for some reason. So, we're going to have to do it in the weird way. So 
whatever in there. Pain in the butt. <laughs> Not how I wanted to do it at all. Um, that's mm, 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 mm. too high, isn't it? It's got to be one more higher, isn't it? the most awkward way of making a portal that I've ever done. <laughs> I ain't no speedrunner, mate. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, can I make any more mistakes today? What is up with me? This 
This is going to be the messiest part of ever. We need some more lava. It's a good job we've got plenty of lava cows in here now, isn't it? I got one bucket of lava, but they're all on cooldown. Mm. No, they're not. It's just me not clicking right. <laughs> what a mess. Last one. Right, portal made, even though it's not where I want it. But at least it's done. <laughs> right, so now how to stop it from ruining our base? Yeah, we don't have a lot of cobble left. Do we have to get that cobble chicken set up, I think, next? Um, yeah, we're definitely going to need this. Yeah, we might be all right, actually. This armor in there. Right, but we do need a flint and steel. We need to put stuff away because I'm going to die in the nether. I always do. That's going to be annoying because I can't get the tree that I want without silk touch. 
which was the whole point of going to the nether. My brain does not want to work today, obviously. Right, we could just light it and then unlight it. Look, it says we've got to go to the nether, didn't it? Alright, let's keep emptying inventory. Let's make a temporary chest, a junk chest. And we can just dump this slot in. Until we get back. <coughs> Water's pointless in the nether but I just like to keep it on me anyway. No, it's pointless in the nether, isn't it? Don't want that with us, or do we? We can gather leaves with it. It might let me, yeah, because that's silt touch, that might let me nick the dirt. Might. Very much a might. Alright, and we'll take some blocks with us and convert some of it into slabs. Take a crafting table just in case. Right. I don't like the nether. I really, really don't like the nether. Yeah, you're going to wander through there, aren't you, water cow? I don't want to do this. I don't like the leather. <laughs> Please be a blue bio. Please be a blue bio. And we're in a box. Okay then, so the nether is just as stone blocked as what the stone block world is, I'm guessing. Right, but what we can do is we can nick all this netherrack like so. Yes, hello water cow, I knew you'd come through. Yep, enjoy your tunnel. Right, back home. Right, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> right, so we grab our stuff out. Oh yeah, and we've completed a main quest. We got 
got eight class done. Ooh, are you ready to become a mad scientist and have fun with our new relay power, or RP for short? To get started, we need a relay power emitter. Think of it as a sort of battery. Craft and place down a relay power emitter. Okay then. Looks like we're getting into some fun stuff now. Um, it's called something to do with power. Right, now it's a relay powered engine. Conveyor, generator, hammer, engine, relay power emitter. So, we need some diorite alloy, which we have. Alloy block, which we have. Copper coil. How do we make a copper coil? More of the diorite alloy and copper ingots. Okay then, looks like we're getting into some fun stuff now. Ooh. Right. I want to do this though first. <laughs> ah, what we didn't do is, what we need to do is make ourselves another pickaxe. Because we're always going to have one of them on us. Ah, I should have compressed it first, you dozy cow. I will get in the habit of compressing stuff, honest. No, don't want to double compress it. Right, because that gives us soil sand. Now what do we get if we sift soul sand? Ah, oh, that's not compressed. Let's compress it. So compressing that gave us nether wart, blaze powder, quartz dust, glowstone dust, gas tear, netherite scrap, and gold scrap. Okay. Um, what happens if we hammer that down again? Nothing. So how do I get the tree saplings for the nether? Because it doesn't look like it comes out of this. Can we convert it to soil? So at the moment it's soul sand. I don't think we can convert it. It would have been nice if we could convert it to soul soil, but hey ho. I 
don't know how we're going to get the blue sapling. We may not be able to. What are you doing, dog? might not be able to get the blue wood. Let's see what it says. Hang on. That's what I didn't think of. There's another way to convert it, you dozzy mare. Dripper. Soul sand will convert it to red sand. We've got soul sand. Hmm. How would we get it to soul soil? Maybe lava on dirt? That might be worth a try. Sand, it take it to soil sand. Yeah, I think lava on dirt might convert it to soil soil. Let's put that theory to the man. You need to go back in. We've got some netherrack, haven't we? Yep. So we need lava in the dripper. I hammered that. I imagine it works better on the compressed, doesn't it? So let's nip through and grab some more netherrack. Just because the dripper definitely seems to work better on the compress, so we're going to give it the best chance it can. lava on normal dirt. I'm going nuts. That's what I wanted.
see if that gives us soil soil. Bentley. Come on. Get away from there. You're not getting on my bed. Your dog hair is everywhere as it is. Playing with pog pugs and they molt like crazy. some time. Right, what was our mission again? <laughs> I got distracted. Craft and place down a relay power emitter. So, yeah. Right, nether stuff. So yeah, off stream today I've got to create another witch cow to try and get the copper cow back again, a new one, just to try and complete that quest. But yeah, I've got to come off stream shortly to go and get little one from nursery. So, copper stuff. Where was the armory? Um, right, I think we're going to need more of this diorite alloy. At last, a use for diorite. So we need to get a lot of copper smelted. Alright, is the forge going to let us use it? Right, so we're doubling up our copper. Thank you. completed check your quest book <laughs> okay then <laughs> well, that's one way to do it I suppose oh. Ooh, we'll take a normal one this time Create a cow wand. Collect a regular cow using the cow wand. Ok. 
Okay. Alright, I wanted one of them. I think it said three. Does it always make three? I don't know. Right, cow wand. How do we make one of them? Basic wand with a spirit root. Looks like there's only one wand, which is the basic wand. Oh. Create a cow wand. Another handy item to help with cow. Use this to pick up your cows. It's created by hitting a regular cow with a basic wand. Okay. So, we need to make a basic wand. So, spirit rune. So we now have a basic wand. And we need to hit a cow with it. Okay. <laughs> bye bye cow. <laughs> is the chest for clean up layer. So now we've got a cow wand. Pick up a regular cow. Well, we don't have a regular cow anymore because it just died. Oh. Collect a regular cow using the cow wand. We don't have one. Yep, so we'll work on that later. Right, back to the power thing. More interesting anyway. Alright, so what else do we need to make this power thingy? We 
relay powered hammer. Ooh. Relay power emitter, that was it, wasn't it? Right, so we just need a couple of redstone torches. Sure, that's what we was creating. Yeah, relay power emitter. So we're nearly there. It's missing something, isn't it? Probably more copper. No, wrong one. alloy block. I thought I picked that up. Is it in the chest of junk? Nope. I could have swore I'd picked that up. It's not in there. It's not in there. Ah, did it use it maybe? Let's make some more alloy. Alloy stuff, where are you? What have I not got enough of? That's uh, nuggets, okay. How can we do it? No. Wood. Oh, it's missing something. Now we're getting into the interesting stuff. Right, I'm going to place this. Where are we placing it? Pop it over here for now. How big are you going to be? Put it in the middle there. Total relay. What was that? We have the power. Check your quest book. Right, so that's the battery. Like a rechargeable battery, the relay power emitter also needs power. Let's make a basic form of power with a glowstone panel. Craft and place down a glowstone panel. Okay. What was the other book it gave us? Guide to Relay Power. Your number one guide to all things about relay power within Stone Block 2. Yeah. The relay power emitter is the main hub of any relay power network. Think of it as one huge battery. It stores relay power inside itself, which then can be used to power other relay powered machines. Cool. Um, you can only have one relay power emitter in a network. A network can be a maximum of 32 blocks in diameter. Okay. To see the radius of a relay power network, simply punch it. 
you can have multiple relay power networks as long as they are distant enough from each other. You can also craft a relay power examiner. This handy little device will show you all your relay power networks all in one without needing to be near any of the emitters. The relay power emitter will shock you if you get too close to it. Great! You can remove the relay power emitter by punching it and sneaking, but this will also remove any power stored inside of it. There are a variety of relay powered machines. Take a look at the crafting table for the recipes. There are two ways of producing relay power. One is with the use of panels, the other is with engines. Panels are a great way of producing relay power passively. Once crafted, simply place them down in a relay powered network to start producing relay power. Glowstone panel will give us 8 relay power, soul panel will give us 24, an ender panel will give us 72 every 3 seconds. OK. <clears throat> the engine produces relay power a lot faster than panels, but it also requires some unique fuels to function. The fuel types are honey, soul lava. What is soul lava? Oil. One bucket will fill one level of its tank. Using different fuel types will increase its output as well as duration. Honey gives you 60 RP, soul lava gives you 180 and oil gives you 360. You can obtain these fuel types from milking certain cow types. OK, so we've got to breed more cows to get more types. Lastly, to help the automation, there are relay powered conveyor belts. These belts require a constant flow of relay power to function correctly. By combining belts and hoppers, you can easily automate things. Ooh! This really is starting to get interesting. But yeah, we need a power tinkering room. <laughs> And yeah, let's not get too close to it. Ooh. Right, well I think we're going to have to end it there for today. Because my alarm's about to go off. But yeah, we got some cool stuff to play with next time. So, I am going to destroy you for now. And we shall sort that out in the next episode when we get to tinker with the new bits. Ooh, so we're going to get to automate loads of stuff. That's going to be cool. So, yeah, off. There's my alarm. Off stream, I will. <coughs> Start making this look a bit better, prettify it a bit. And yeah. When we come back, we get to tinker with things better. But yeah, I'm going to start putting hoppers under things and yeah, just general lots of tinkering. Make this start to look nice. Keep our original cave though, because I like that. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you again, I don't know when, when I can squeeze another stream in. But I got a lot of work to do first. So, thanks for watching, and goodbye.